Hi guys, welcome sa Zip Naya. Now, in this video, ang gagawin natin is mag-aaral uh, tayo no, kung paano ba mag-subtract ng uh, fractions from a uh, whole number. No? And uh, ang pag-aaralan natin dito ay yung shortcut. No? O I don't know kung shortcut ito matatawag, pero mas mabilis na, na method doon sa uh, pinaka-usual na ginagamit natin sa school. No? So, uh, bigyan ko yung example. Wag, wala na tayong paligwilito yun. So, 4 minus 2 fifths. Uh, the usual na ginagawa natin sa school, no? Kung uh, hindi masyadong naturo ng maayos. So, nilalagyan na natin ng bar. So, 5, five times method 1 ito, no? 5 times 420 minus 2. This is uh, 18 over 5. No? And from 18 over 5, dadaan tayo sa pag-convert ng, uh, ng improper fraction to mix to so 18 over 5 equals 3, no? 15, 3. So, nagiging, magiging 3 and 3 fifths siya. No? Magiging 3 and 3 fifths. So, imagine, um, yan, ginawa natin yung algorithm, walang meaning, and then we, uh, we convert uh, to improper fraction. Uh, not improper, but we convert the improper fraction to mixed number. No? Now, method 2, medyo may meaning ng konti to. Gagawin natin 4 over 1 minus 2 fifths. No? Now, the reason why we made it 4 over 1 is gusto natin maging fraction pareho. And any whole number can be converted to fraction by adding or by adding an over 1. No? Uh, by uh, uh, dividing by 1. No? So, 4 over 1 minus 2 fifths Kunin mo yung LCM nito. That's 5, obviously. And then you subtract two fractions whose uh, denominators are, is, uh, denominator is the LCM. So 5 divided by 1 times 4, that's 20. And then 5 divided by 5, 1 times 2. So, Pag 2 fifth na yun kasi 5 na yun. So hindi natin kailangan mag-uli. So this is 18 over 5, which will again, um, uh, which will again uh, be converted to to a mixed number. No? So, medyo mahabang proseso siya. Kunin yung LCM, tapos i-convert to similar fraction para makapag-minus, and then pag nakuha na yung sagot, i-convert natin ulit to mixed number. So, the me third method is a shortcut method, no? which is, uh, which uses the concept of borrowing. No? So, 4 minus 2 fifths. So, ano ba ginagawa natin? Uh, 91 minus 3, kung mara. Ginagawa natin, nagbabaro tayo dito, di ba, ng, uh, ng 10. No? Actually, 1 yung binabaro natin, sabi usually. Pero 10, actually, siya. Kasi 10, yung 10 tatanggalin mo dito, magiging 11 to. No? So, 11 minus 3 is 8. 89. O, 88 siya. No? Ang sagot. Okay, so, we will use that concept here. No? Ang gagawin natin dito is 4... 4 minus 2 fifths, no? Walang fractional part to. Yung part na to. So, kailangan ko ng fractional part dito. Pwede ako mag-borrow dito. Borrow ako ng 1, maging 3. At saan magpunta yung 1? Pwede ko siyang ilagay dito. It's 5 over 5. So, kung ano yung denominator, yun, ganito rin yung denominator dito. At i balance siya to sa fraction na 1. Kaya 5 din dapat yung... Uh, numerator. No? Now, so, ibig sabihin yan, this is 3 and 4, or 3 and 5 fifths, no? minus 2 fifths, so that's 3 and 3 fifths. Tama? Which is the same as this one. Okay? So, another example Example, we have um, 10 minus 5 over 12. So, magbaro tayo ng 1, magiging uh, 9, and 12 over 12 minus 5 over 12. So, this is 9 and 7 over 12. So, di ba mas mabilis lang kaysa sa magaganito pa? Ang wala nga, para sa akin mabilis siya. So, kayo na lang siguro mag-decide. Another example, 9 minus 3 over 7. 
So, magiging uh, magbabaro ako ng 1, magiging 8. And 7 over 7, minus 3 over 7, equals 8 and 4 over 7. O, diba? Mas mabilis siya. So, yan. Yun, yan yung advantage ng uh, borrow method, na shortcut natin. And again, this will, uh, as of now, no? Ang naturo ko pala sa inyo ay uh, whole number minus fraction. So, later siguro tignan natin yung uh, may whole number tsaka meron siyang mixed number. Okay? Maraming salamat. I'll see you in the next tutorial.